Thanks for looking after Mr. Snuggles while I go to my yoga class, guys. No problem. We're going to have a great time. Aren't we, Mr. Snuggles? <laughs> well, don't make too much mess. <laughs> we won't. Go on and enjoy your yoga. Thanks, princesses. Us make mess. I'm going to go get us some snacks. <laughs> right, what should we do for... What? Who? Dear Liliana, sorry for making so much mess. It was all me, Mr. Snuggles. Esme had nothing to do with it. And she's also really cool and has nice clothes. Yours sincerely, Mr. Snuggles. Uh, I can see you, Esme. Just <laughs> fixing the back of this chair. All done. Oh, okay, it was me who made the mess, not Mr. Snuggles. Really? But don't worry, I'm going to clean it up in super quick time. Here, face the wall and count down from five. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Wait here, I've got a much better plan. Allow me to present to you the solution to all our problems. The Vactastic Omastic Tastic McGray Cool 4003. It's a vacuum cleaner. Okay, Esme, stand back. I'm gonna fire her up. Now we really can't make any mess until Olivia gets back. I still think we could have just hidden it under the rug. I'm home. Hey Olivia, everything's fine. Nothing at all. No problem around here, yeah. Hey Olivia, everything's fine. No magic vacuum cleaner whatsoever. <laughs> Did you say magic vacuum cleaners? No, she said a uh, manic raccoon. Beaver? Yes, exactly. We definitely didn't make a huge mess and then clear it all away by sucking into a magic vacuum cleaner. It's me. <laughs> Guys, it doesn't matter if you made a mess. The important thing is that you cleaned it up. And besides, a magic vacuum cleaner sounds cool. Can I have a look? All right, this is the Vactastico. It's a magic vacuum cleaner. <gasps> How does it work? So this is what you do. You press this button here and... Ah! <gasps> Esme? Esme? Help! I'm in here! Help me! <gasps> Get me out of here! Quickly! Turn it on to blowing mode! Oh, it's not strong enough. I might have an idea. Here, attach this to the vacuum cleaner. If there's one thing I've learned from yoga class is how to take a deep breath. Mrs. Zuza's incredible yoga techniques. Hang on, where's Mr. Snuggles? Oh. 
Okay, Esme, I'm gonna pop home to get Olivia's present. Can you bring the cake straight to the party? Absolutely, you can count on me, Liliana. I won't eat it, I promise. Okay, I trust you. You've got the serviette as well, right? Yep. Great, see you soon. It's fine. I don't even want any of this super yummy, delicious cake. Well, I suppose no one will know if I try a tiny bit of icing. isn't good. Liana's going to be mad. Unless. Perfect. No one will ever know. Mm. Well, it would be bad to waste it. Mmm. That was good cake. You haven't eaten the cake, have you? Ha! Of course not. Anyway, gotta go. Bye! Oh, what am I going to do? Uh-huh. Esme and the cake will be here any moment, Olivia. Oh, how exciting! Happy birthday, Olivia! Thanks, Esme! Have you got the cake, Esme? Uh, uh. Yeah? Well, let's see it then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Esme. That's not the cake we had earlier, Esme. Yeah, it is. It just got a little, uh, uh, squished on the way here. Esme, these are paper towels covered in icing, not a cake. Really? I should get back to the shop and complain right away. Esme, Esme, wait, it's fine. I bought a spare cake. A spare? Yeah, this happens every year, Esme. Oh yes, Malice Dollar on the way. It's a style thing. <laughs> oh, cake. I thought you said rake. <laughs> Do you want some, Esme? Or are you full already? <laughs> hmm. I think I could probably finish a small slice. <gasps> I've lost my diary!
whoever lives here sure likes Fruit Loops. <gasps> and pizza. <laughs> Aren't you going to clean those up? Clean! So this is... Inside the sofa! It is! Recognise me? Um, no! Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I'd remember meeting a talking song. Ha! Let me take you back to a time long, long ago. Esme, I'm back! moment. It's like a lifetime down here. Hang on. How did you learn to talk? Can't you tell? This place is magical. Uh, if only I could magically find my diary. You mean this diary? Not so fast, Esme. You can have your diary back. But I want something in return first. Okay, anything. What do you want? A companion. It gets pretty lonely down here. Socks were made to be in pairs, you see, and I am alone. Aw, that would be so cute. If only you wear a horrible old stinky sock. I'm glad that you recognise my stinkiness. And for that reason, young Esme, you must find me a sock friend so stinky, so unbelievably smelly, honging so... Okay, okay. I get the point. You want a smelly sock. And I think I know just the foot to get it from. You're back. Did you find what I requested? I did! Bring it to me! And now? Yes, yes, your diary. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise, thanks! Wait, do you have any? No, I'm a sock. Right. Esme, you're invited to a tea party at Malice's Tower. Malice's Tower? When do we have to be there? 4 p.m. <gasps> we better get going. Keep an eye out, Esme. Something doesn't feel right. Hello, princesses. Here for the tea party? Uh, yeah. 
Well, you've come to the right place. What's that? It's my tea party. That's not a tea party. It's an evil device. Yes, this device will send the kingdom into total darkness. I just needed you two here so that you couldn't stop me. We'll see about that. Haha, <laughs> 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 try seeing the kingdom now, Olivia. <gasps> I've got your wand. Mwahahahaha, <laughs> <laughs> my plan is working. The kingdom is turning into darkness. We have to stop her. But how? <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool. Now, let's stop the machine. Hmm, this is so complicated. If only Liliana was here. Got it! Nice one, Esme. Now, let's have a real tea party. I'll cook. Dig in. Hey, can you pass the chocolate? I thought you'd never ask, Olivia. <laughs> Your breakfast, Esme. What have we? And also your lunch. Well, I... And dinner. Ooh. I can't believe... And brunch. And elevensies. And tea. And midnight feast. This is... This is... This is a dream, isn't it? Well, of course it's a dream. Now enjoy your meals. I'm off to play balls with the Queen. Ta-ta! Esme! 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 No, Butler Olivia, come back! Come back, Butler Olivia! Esme! Butler Olivia! Butler Olivia? Oh, hey Olivia! I was having the most amazing dream and you were there and you were there and you were there as a butler apparently Oh Olivia, it was like my perfect world All my meals came at once Sounds gross What would your perfect world be Olivia? I hereby declare that Malice has graduated from the School of Good Behaviour and Niceness with a degree in Not Pranking Olivia. Oh, Malice! Care to add any ingredients to this delicious soup that I've been making? Nope, smells great already. How about this Jenga tower? Care to knock it over? Oh, how ghastly, of course not. Ooh, I spy a slime gun, fully loaded. I wouldn't dare. This is, this is boring. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. Maybe not what? We were just imagining our perfect worlds. Perfect worlds, eh? Hello and welcome to the Zoos at 10. Tonight's top story. Everything is broken and requires fixing. Apart from all the stuff required to broadcast this news program. Good night. Better get to work. My screwdriver's broken as well. All my tools are broken. Everything's broken. Ah! Whoa! Down 
sounds like your perfect roll wasn't that perfect either. It was awful. Well, mine was brilliant. Actually, Esme, if you had all your meals for breakfast, you wouldn't have any more food for the rest of the day. What? Well, I knew Butler Olivia was too good to be true. Butler Olivia? Isabella, we were just discussing what our perfect worlds would be. Well, never mind that. Anyway, I just walked past Malice and she was smelling flowers and reciting poetry. Huh? And then I walked past someone like you, Olivia. But she was wearing a moustache and was playing balls with the queen. <gasps> what? Then I walked past a pile of broken screwdrivers. <gasps> no!